This is the worst I've ever seen it. I've been here for 10 years. Most people have never seen this much of an impact uh, on the harvest. There's a lot of touch points that everybody uses daily that we're all gonna suffer. There's not enough water in the Mississippi River and, and the tows aren't able to get through the river right now. And so they're not able to get the, the empty barges to all the export facilities in the state. The impacts from the low water from the Mississippi River are really starting to take an impact uh, statewide. Uh, we've been in the harvest for several weeks in South Arkansas, but, in, but as the harvest moves north, it becomes more and more of a limiting factor. If we can't get some water up north, some rain, farmers won't have anywhere to go and, and they, they don't have many options. So they'll have to leave it in the field, which could lose yield, or they have to find somewhere to go and potentially leaving them on a barge for a, a long period of time can deter the quality. Well, with the harvest about 40% complete, you know, you still have 60% left in the field and we have a it's estimated production in Arkansas this year of approximately 160 million bushels. So there are a lot of soybeans out there that are that are needing to find a home. We've had tows come through the river at Pendleton, pushing two or three boats at a time, or two or three barges at a time, and usually they got 12, 15. Several weeks ago when harvest started, we had uh, premiums for September delivery because of the export program was very strong. There were a lot of basis bids at 50 cents over the Chicago price. Currently, a lot of the river locations are a, a dollar under the Chicago price to a dollar twenty-five under the Chicago price. So it's it's had a huge impact on on the basis. And then this week, it's starting to also have a negative impact on the Chicago market as well. So all in all, the state of Arkansas is probably close to forty percent harvested. I, I would say down south, it's a little more. We were able to start early and get the crop in in a timely fashion and that let us start early with harvest. By doing that, we were able to get everything harvested that was grain that needed to be hauled off before we personally started having problems with the river. Some people had, didn't get that opportunity, maybe larger, maybe they weren't diversified like we are where we have gotten to be able to, to take up some acres. Therefore, some people have had to have either have a contract or leave their crops sitting in the field, or if they can find some storage that they can rent from somebody if they fill their own up, then they're able to do that. Um, not everybody's had that luxury. Been some really long lines at, at some export terminals, you know, when the, the barges didn't show up on time, uh, a lot of, lot of delays. The other thing that that's done is for the folks that, that either didn't have a contract and are getting delivered or had a little bit of overage and needed to get that contract taken care of where they might have been getting a even or a positive basis earlier in the year, that basis has turned very much negative. As we progress, it's going to get tougher and tougher and the harvest is moving into, into North Arkansas a little bit more. So uh, uh, our storage everywhere is going to be a huge issue. And the thing about water here, that river being as close as it is, we get some aquifer refilling that we may not get this year and that could be a problem and we already had a dry fall the last major the last significant rainfall we had was well over a year ago fertilizer coming up the river going up the river to um, other states it's going to be an issue how is it going to get there if there's no water we're from the farming perspective so obviously we're concerned with the grain but with the mississippi river shut down there's a lot of things that aren't going to make it where they got to go even like the stuff that gets shipped from overseas coming to the Gulf to go up the Mississippi. You're not gonna get that stuff, whether it be food or, you know, just everyday items that people need.